Hello, welcome back to the Steve Rob Show. Today, we're gonna to have a little bit of fun and we're gonna see if we can resolve this problem that I have with my 2010 F-150. From the day I bought this truck, the second day, I brought it back to the dealership and I says, I was making a left-hand turn going into the gas station and the truck just stalled. Now the conditions on this is, the only way that I know what happens is a light will uh, come on displaying no engine oil. Well, when I look at the dash, every time the tack has gone down and yeah, the vehicle is stalled. So I took it back to the dealer and the dealer said, sorry, but we put our factory scan tool on and we don't see no codes, we don't see no nothing. So about eight months later, it happened again. And guys, this has been going on since 2010 just yesterday, same thing happened. It doesn't always mean on a left-hand drive, uh, I'm sorry, a left-hand um, turn. In this particular situation, I was just pulling up to a light, and I stopped, and the engine stalls. And that's all that happens. And again, no engine light uh, goes on, and the tack drops, and that's all I can say about it. I put my own scan tools on. I have a friend that works up Ford. I got him to take a look at it as well and so far the idea I got from Ford was we suspect we know what's wrong with it and a friend of mine who's a master mechanic at Ford says I got a pretty good idea what's wrong but uh, yeah you're going to have to pay for the part put it on even while it was under warranty they said the exact same thing uh, we don't know what it is and we ain't going to pay to fix something that we don't know what it is there's no codes there's no nothing you brought it in here the truck runs fine and, you know, I can't blame the dealer. I mean, how are they supposed to fix something that, you know, you can't show what's wrong with the truck? So, I thought I'd make a bit of this, and maybe a lot of other uh, F-150 owners that have a 4.6 liter, uh, three valves per cylinder, the same style of engine. I've got an F-150 Super Crew, and I looked in the comments on YouTube and different... Uh, uh, web pages and there's a lot of speculation of what this could be now a friend of mine did tell me that about 75 to 80 percent chance that he knows what the problem is and I thought I'd give everybody an opportunity to see if they've run across this before I've got some of the best automotive techs in the world on my channel and I know that one of them or more have run across this problem before and I'd love to see it in the comments and let me know what you think it is because I'm going to change this part and I'll let everybody know ahead of time in the future if I don't have any more problems. But until then, what are you supposed to do when nobody knows what's wrong with your vehicle? And I imagine there's a lot of frustrated technicians out there that go through this all the time and they try to go by pattern failure. And this is what I'm going to try and do as well. So if you guys have any idea what you think this is... Um, Put it in the comments and uh, I'll make another video in the future showing exactly if this resolved it or not and I'll put in the description what the fix was so maybe a lot of other people can you know look at this and find what the problem is with this too because guys I'm telling you my friend checked over this truck big time and he says there's nothing wrong with the truck but he's got a pretty good idea what it is. So leave your comments down below if you don't mind, and uh, if you have an idea, I mean, I imagine there's a lot of people out there that have automobiles where the dealer says, you know, we don't know what's wrong. So thanks for joining in. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again, guys. Let's have some more fun. Cheers.